Good afternoon. Not is this working? I guess it's working. Eh? If I um, see here, I think it's important also that it works because uh, I would like to welcome uh, all of you here in in the room. Of course, a very special welcome to our guest of honor. Uh, I will say a few words about uh, your your history in CV and why we are so happy to have you here. But I would also like to welcome all the people that are joining this webinar online. Uh, so also very welcome to uh, all those that participate uh, in this session. Uh, I have one uh, important task next to uh, doing the announcements is uh, to keep time. And uh, we really uh, have to finish at uh, 1.30 because uh, Your Excellency has other appointments that he uh, needs to go to. But I do hope that uh, within this half hour, you will have a very, very enjoyable uh, meeting with uh, one of our alumni um, that has uh, showed that uh, you are able to take up this leadership that we are also so proud of, of our alumni. And I think uh, that he's a really uh, important example uh, in there. And uh, I also know that he's a little bit uh, nervous and that has to do with the fact that his supervisor is also in the room, um, sitting in the, in, in the back. And uh, I think uh, that it's always nice uh, also as a, a lecturer to see what your students are doing. And I think uh, I'm quite proud here that as rector of IT, I can uh, really welcome uh, your excellency here to give a presentation uh, because also as uh, IG, uh, we very much are looking forward that we are not only able to teach people what to do, but that people use that uh, in their uh, career and to forward, uh, say, the water sector. And I think, uh, Your Excellency, you are a really a good example of that. Uh, and I, I have your CV. I will not completely read it out, but the things that struck me uh, is that uh, one, uh, I th and, and that's the thing I wanted to read out because uh, the thesis of your, um, your master research uh, that you did here, uh, that was uh, the impact of the Begma Dam on water availability in the Greater Sub River using the Wavflex model. And also looking at your CV, I think uh, that, uh, and that's about dam operation, uh, dam building, dam construction, uh, I think that's a very important part in, in uh, your career. Uh, but there was something else that I was uh, really struck about, and I think that's also quite important, that is that you also participated in the collaboration with other countries. And I think uh, also from our discussion from yesterday, what struck my, my mind is this collaboration with Turkey. And I know that in countries uh, where you are, uh, say, at the lower part of a river system, you're depending on uh, people uh, living also from the upper part, uh, those, uh, say, engagements uh, with, with other parties is very, very, very important. And uh, I'm, I'm quite happy uh, to see that, that you also in your uh, responsibility as a minister in uh, Iraq is also working on this uh, topic. And I hope that uh, we can also learn from you how that is done, because I know that uh, those collaborations are not the easiest one, uh, to put it very mildly. Uh, so, uh, thank you very much for coming here, and I would like to also uh, give you uh, the floor uh, to have uh, your address here, and uh, thank you thank for you. doing this. Thank you very much. Most welcome. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you very much, uh, uh, Excellency, and uh, it's a pleasure to me to be here, which uh, was the place I like to be here every, every time, IHE and Delft. So thank you very much for your uh, kind words. And uh, it's an honor to me also. And when I see Professor van der Saar here, he's, uh, he's my supervisor <laughs> during my MSc study. Yeah, so maybe we can start with the the presentation, the introduction. Uh, of course, Iraqi uh, strive uh, to scare, secure their food the security by uh, relying on their own resource as much as possible. Water is the cornerstone of the every agriculture uh, development in Iraq, where the climate is dry and hot, and precipitation are few. The dependence was uh, and still on the organized, organized uh, 
uh, irrigation to achieve actual uh, development. <coughs> Our vision in water uh, security. Iraq vision is uh, for the water uh, security in include the wide range of objectives. The most uh, important among them to ensure that the water supply to the people is adequate in terms of both quantity and quality. And in order to achieve that goals, we need to focus on the most important requirement that must be met for the purpose of achieving water security uh, in Iraq. The first one, rehabilitation and development of the irrigation and drainage system infrastructure and irrigation projects, flood control and uh, uh, drought challenging, reducing water losses and water supply system for virus uh, purpose, carrying out reform in water resource management and and the structure of the water sector institutional and uh, legislative uh, reform. Continuing the negotiation process uh, with the Arabian uh, neighbors country in order to reach an uh, international agreement or uh, any agreement on Iraq water share from the water Tigris and Euphrates. I would like to highlight here about the percentage of the contribution of the Arabian country in, in uh, Tigris and Euphrates. When we're talking about the Euphrates basin, we can see here uh, Syria is 8.3%, uh, uh, Turkey is 88.2%, Iraq is 3% from Euphrates. For Tigris Basin, we can uh, see here that the percentage of contribution of the country in the flow Iran is 29%. Syria is not quite because the Tigris passing just 40 kilometers uh, in Syria border in north of Iraq. Turkey is 35%, Iraq is 36%, and 36% in Tigris Basin, it means that the tributaries from uh, Iran and Turkey. I would like here to highlight about the current and the future irrigated area in the upper basin countries. And, and the unit here in 1,000 hectares. We can see in, in Turkey especially, in Euphrates, Tigris, and the Greater Zab. Turkey and Euphrates, uh, she is planning to, uh, if you, you can see the red one, is more, more than 1,000 uh, hectares. And for Tigris, is more than 600 uh, hectares. For Greater Zab, it's more or less because the Greater Zab is look like a mountain area, so it's not easy for them to using that area for uh, development their their land. For Syria, uh, more than uh, 600. Red one, it, that is their plan in 2035. So 2012, 2035. If anyone asks why you choose 2012 and 2000, 2035, because the 2012, this is, a, this is the year then we start to adapt or, act, or uh, applying for our strategic study. So our strategic, strategic study for land and water development in Iraq starting from 2012 and our uh, roadmap, that is recorded as a roadmap to our ministry in order to reach or to know what, what our situation in 2035. And that study, it's, it is the second stage for the first study doing, to, uh, by the way, this is study doing with the Italian uh, international company, consulted company, and the first study uh, doing with the Russian company from 1982 till 2004. Uh, what, what we call a general water balance uh, the, the study number one. The study number two, we called it a strategic study for land and water development in Iraq. So this is a this is a year, the period that we we chosen for for our for our study. So we can we can see the blue one is their development until to, to, 2012, but they are planning to reach the red the red one. 
So estimated of the water flowing uh, to Iraq at the border with the countries in the upper basin. We can see here uh, for uh, Tigris and uh, its uh, tributaries and the Euphrates. We can see in the chart that on 2025, more than 35 billion cubic meter, that is uh, the whole amount of water maybe we expect to our, I mean, it's uh, moving to Iraq or inflow to Iraq. In 2003, there is a reduce, maybe reach uh, 31, but the problem was uh, 2035 after the upper country developed 100% from their projects, as I mentioned in the previous uh, slide. So we can we uh, we can imagine how the damage may be become to to Iraq. So but so in order to avoid that, we need to have some some uh, uh, some uh, solution to have this this problem. The current and future water situation in Iraq. We can just maybe imagine that it is an uh, evident that the quantities of water available to Iraq in 2035 will be decreased by about 17.64 uh, billion cubic meter that uh, than it was in 2015. So, despite the po the population increase uh, and the target year, uh, we're talking about 2035. We can, uh, I mean, our plan, not our plan, but our estimating estimation that we will reach more than 50 uh, million people at uh, the target year in 2035. So the increase need, uh, of course, need for water and the existence of some reform taking place uh, on the irrigation network and on some projects. The demand for water will decrease by 5.28 billion as a result of this improvement. That is mean we need to have some improvement. So improvement, it's mean we, we try to reduce uh, consuming water. So in, in, uh, so uh, uh, I mean, our shortage, our general shortage based on our study, it's 17.64. So we need to have an improvement in water sector and also uh, uh, improve in irrigation projects. I mean, using a new technique, lining, piping, so we need to reduce it to 10.94 uh, billion cubic meter in year of uh, 2035. It is clear that Iraq will suffer a real shortage that requires cooperation to overcome and this can only be achieved by taking uh, ex uh, extensive uh, reform uh, measures on irrigation network and large investment in addition to reach an agreement that to share the damage and not to uh, burden Iraq alone. That is what we are talking during the, the drought period. It means there is, they should be sharing the damage. Not, I mean, it's not make sense for the upper part country keep the uh, the whole amount in his, I mean, in, in their reservoir and leave the downstream alone, facing alone. So this can only be done by an uh, appropriate uh, reduction of the development uh, target area in upper part country. So during our negotiation with the upper part, we are trying to convince them or to avoid them to develop the whole area that what, what uh, I mean that what they are looking for or what, what they are planning for. And uh, we believe we are, I mean, in our progress now. So uh, uh, we, we hope that we can, I mean, uh, reach an agreement to reduce uh, that area at least 25% in order to avoid a damage, a, a great damage to, to Iraq. Food security, of course, uh, our vision regarding food security in the context of long-term planning for water and land resources, it is, uh, is to achieve the greater part of uh, stable food security through developing agriculture and the uh, fertile land and with the area with an area of about 13 million donem and the employment of skilled uh, laborers. 
Water for agriculture, of course, the amount of water for agriculture sector in 2035 will be reduced from 15 to 34.6 uh, billion surface and groundwater. Iraq aims, aims our target to develop and rehabilitate 131 irrigation projects with a total uh, area of 13 million donors, of which 5.5 million donors are currently development in whole or in part or require rehabilitation, rising the agriculture uh, density from 85% to 115% according to the following measures. Co crop structure, cultivate a new crop structure that are less water con uh, consuming and suitable for AFZ agriculture zone. Irrigation efficiency, we are looking for rising total irrigation efficiency from 32% to 60% per 60 using modern irrigation method. And we are now in, in, uh, in our ministry, we are planning our, our, our vision our target to change the irrigation system in, uh, instead of open irrigation system to a closed system. So closed system, it's, it's mean we will transfer water by piping with a pump station and piping. And uh, of course, that project, it's mean we will reduce the evaporation the valination, the I mean, uh, it's it's also reflect that the people who using the water downstream, the canal or the river, will receive the same amount based on equality and quantity. Food security for Iraq, I mean, based on our uh, swallery or our uh, strategical study, we try to keep. 50% export and 50% import. That is our target until uh, 2035 with respect with the, with the wheat production and wheat, wheat, uh, wheat uh, import. Of course, uh, we have another uh, big challenge in, uh, in water resource management is Iraqi marshes and biodiversity and water quality in Shat al-Arab. Uh, if anyone didn't know about Shat al-Arab, Shat al-Arab is the, that river and the downstream in the south of, uh, of, of Iraq is uh, the contact with the, with, the, with the sea. So marshes, it's now is the, in the heritage uh, world list, list. So we need to keep it, I mean, to keep a mouth for that water in order to keep the biodiversity bio, di for that special uh, area in, in, in south of, uh, of Iraq, as well as the water quality in Shat al-Arab. That is also another challenge because it is located downstream the two rivers. Energy security, we are planning to, uh, to construct 23 dams. Uh, the purpose is generating hydropower, uh, rising and, and uh, our, I mean, our target to rising the, the total electric power from the dams in 2035 to uh, 42,000 megawatt. And that is all maybe contribution with the whole, I mean, need for Iraq for hydropower is around 5% five, five So we are looking for the hydro energy and solar energy and with uh, plus the wind energy. Wind energy is not a quite a good percent like Netherlands, of course, Iraq, but there is some, some person we can uh, also use it. So what, what the existing dam for multi-purpose and including the hydroelectric power, we have Mosul Dam, Haditha, Hamreen, Dokan, Darbandi Khan, Mosul regular. So the total now, it's, uh, the capacity is more than uh, 5,000 uh, uh, megawatt and the design capacity, uh, no, no, kilowatt, but the megawatt is uh, 200, 2,100. So for us, the hydropower is what we call, the, it's not the main purpose for, for our dam, because our dam is just to avoid uh, flooding and for irrigation and other domestic use. Uh, the hydropower is what we call, uh, yes, we need it to, release the, to re release the water, so there is a hydropower and we can generate hydropower, but this is not the main purpose for, for, for our dam. Iraqi uh, government process to achieve our water right, the ministry seek to uh, secure Iraqi's right for 
from the shared uh, water of the Tigris and Euphrates. So our target is continuing to hold joint technical and ministerial committees between Iraq, Syria, and Turkey on one side and between Iraq and Iran on the other side in order to discuss water issue. I mean, continuing is very important. Participating in all international, regional, and, and Arab uh, forum. Joining organization, institution, and uh, intentions uh, concerned with the studying and uh, treating water problem, including the Arab Ministerial Council for Water and the Swedish Institute for Cooperation Program. Joining International Convention, of course, the UN Convention 97, the Helsinki also, we are joining Helsinki, Iraq has joined to the Paris Agreement also, under the umbrella of United Nations Framework Convention to, uh, on Climate Change, and that is our uh, program. So, and also we are uh, very happy to have a field of cooperation with the Dutch side, with the water and, uh, water and Peace and Security, Kingdom of Netherlands, UNESCO, IHE, the Viking, NOFIC, and, and, uh, and other. And thank you. <laughs> if there is any, any question, I am, I am here to answer. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very much. And um, I think uh, I have to apologize a little bit because I don't have a watch with me. But, and I don't know if the clock in the back side is uh, yeah, running so well. Yeah. We have some time. That, yeah. uh, we have seven, a couple seven. of minutes. Yeah. And uh, I think that um, uh, I, I have one practical question and then I would like to open the floor for the room. You I, are the I, Richter, I, so you have I don't know what the dumb dumb is. Dumb. Yeah. Dumb. No, you, you said something about, uh, I think it's, it's an, 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 uh, a surface. Donum. Yeah, donum. Donum, donum. Ah, yeah. it's, uh, the one hectare is four donum. One hectare is four donum. Four okay, donum. I've learned yes. something today, at yes. least that I was not aware about. <laughs> yes, uh, But you also mentioned, I think, a quite... Uh, donum is uh, 2,500 uh, cubic meter. Okay. Uh, square, square meter. meter. Okay. Square okay. meter. Okay, yeah. very good. Okay, yeah. thank you very much yes. for that. But I also think you touched on a couple of, uh, I think, uh, very important uh, issues there. Yeah. Uh, one of them, of course, being this collaboration that's yeah, happening course. with the yeah. different countries. I um, know and I, I noticed uh, from your presentation that I think uh, uh, that you're aiming for more than 30% water use efficiency. Yes. That uh, I think is a, 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 a quite nice uh, challenge. I know, uh, if I remember correctly, from a visit to Iran, that they're aiming for for even 50 percent, but I don't know exactly where. Uh, so it would be quite interesting uh, to see how that may impact also the water that is then available to Iraq. Yes. And I don't know anything about Turkey and Syria about what their plans are, mm -hmm. uh, but it would be also quite important for, uh, yeah. I think, the collaboration that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that was on only uh, uh, something I saw from your presentation, so that's not really a question to you. Yes, okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I would like to open the floor for yeah. people who have a question to His Excellency. Uh, thank you for inviting me to the interesting information. I don't know, but uh, I'm very concerned about the diminishing water recycling. What is like, the ministry planning for uh, having more? Grey water treatment plants and black water treatment plants in Iraq. We need more, I think, in this area. Yeah, of course. One second, just because there are also people watching, and I don't have a roofing microphone. Let, let me just repeat briefly yeah. the question. Uh, very briefly, uh, the question was about uh, what is the ministry doing, and what are the plans for water recycling and water reuse? Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, water recycling. In fact, that is uh, not our responsibility as a Minister of Water Resource. That is the Ministry of uh, Municipality responsibility, the local government. But yeah, I agree. Uh, we need uh, to have uh, the water recycling in our ministry because we are just the, the session in Iraq, or maybe we are only the ministry in Iraq. We are direct in in impact with the sewage water releasing without any treatment. Yeah, but there is any planning. But uh, the problem is uh, we need to increase the high level uh, person awareness on that issue. And that is our biggest challenge. Yes, thank you for your question. Any other questions? If 
Yeah. Graeme first, and then. Uh, thank you. I, I was just um, interested in the response that you gave now, because you said uh, that was not your responsibility. But I was wondering about the relationship with other ministries in Iraq when it came to energy and food planning. Yeah. When we talk about the food security, this is a general word. I mean, even we discuss in during our cabinet meeting, they are focusing on the food security. So sometimes I am, I mention all the times. So please, Minister, are you using the food security by air, for instance, or you need to have water security as well? So we need the, the cooperation. I mean, we need to, let's say, make his enforcement the cooperation. They are focusing on the food security without any focusing on the water security. So based on that, we try to increase their awareness. If you're looking for the food security, you need to focus on the water security because this is the main factor. So that is our another challenge that we are facing during our when, when we are doing our duty in, in Ministry of Water Resources. They believe that the water is for free and the, the water is there. There is no any problem. The problem with the food security, but it is you know it is an equation. It is uh, the, everything uh, co contact with with the, with each other. So that is also. Uh, I I I do my best during two years to convince them. Please focus on what water security in order to get your food security. That is our challenge. So there is a cooperation, but not an what we called in our ministry, it is not enough to cover uh, our uh, challenges. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, I think, for uh, also a very interesting point that was raised here, because uh, I think it's also an invitation uh, to all people working in the water sector to also start those discussions with other sectors like uh, agriculture, but yeah. also energy, uh, health that uh, need uh, the water, but are not always indeed aware where the water is coming from. Yeah, please. Yeah, well, first of all, thank you for your presentation. Thank you. And thank you for the insights and difficulties, um, and also part of the, uh, the, the solutions you present. Uh, but do you have any, or can you tell anything about uh, like maybe, uh, say other solutions? Like, are you also looking at uh, groundwater resources? Maybe seawater. I know your coastline is very short. But, um. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, we have two big challenge in Iraq. The, what we call an outside challenge that is related to the, our relationship with the with the upper upper part country, and the another challenge is what, what we call is, is our entire problem, entire challenge. So when we talk about the groundwater. Yeah, actually, sometimes we hear from media, we have thousand cubic meter or billion cubic meter from the water underground. And that is not true, actually. So we need to use, I mean, I put some restricted tools in order to using the water underground and say, if you, if you like to use the water you need to use a new technique for irrigation. Not, I mean, yes. So what we are doing now is just using that groundwater in, 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 in very best way, using a new technology. But that is not enough because we have, I mean, not a plenty water. We have some limited water and groundwater. The chargeable water is around 1 billion cubic meter. And uh, we are, I mean, our demand is around for uh, more than 40 billion cubic meter per year. So we need to be very sensitive when, we, when you're using the groundwater. But we are doing that now because we are in drought, in, in, in drought period. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Your Excellency. And I think that uh, 
Uh, I got one uh, assignment actually from you, Elias, is to keep time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I will help doing that. And I think you're also in a position maybe to later on ask the question to your excellency. Mm -hmm. And I think that the last question was very nice because we are in the groundwater year uh, this year. So with special emphasis on groundwater. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, that's maybe a very nice question to also Thank you for yes. your presentation. Thank you also for the Q&A. I think it doesn't happen so often that we are in a position to ask questions and get answers from a minister. Yeah. So I'm quite happy that uh, you are willing uh, to do this. So thank you. thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.